Hello guys, this is the Dim Tutorial. In this time, we're going to learn how to use the Arduino Uno R3 board to control a common NORGB LED. In experiment, we need Arduino Uno R3 board, breadboard, 5mm common NORGB LED, 3220 ohms resistors, and of course the DuPont wires are necessary. This is a common anode RGB LED with a total of 4 pins. The common anode is the second pin and also the longest pin. RGB LED looks like a normal LED, but unlike a typical one, it packs with 3 LEDs. One red, one green, and one blue. As shown in this figure, this is the common anode RGB LED. The anodes of the LEDs of three colors are connected together, and the cathodes are taken out separately. According to the principle of trichromatic, the Arduino controls the brightness of each LED through these lead-out pins to mix almost any color you want. Now connect the circuit. This is RGB LED. The anode connects to 5 volts and the remaining 3 pins respectively control the red, green and blue lights inside the RGB LED. It is necessary to connect the 220 ohms resistors in series to prevent too much electric current burning the LED. At the moment, we can check whether the LED is intact and whether we are correct. Plug in. And then connect GND to the remaining pins. We can see that the LED emits red, green, and blue light. So we know that this device can work normally. As we explained before, any color can be obtained by adjusting the brightness of the red, green, and blue light in the LED. For the adjustment, we use the PWM control technology. PWM is the abbreviation of pulse width modulation, and this brings out today's new knowledge. PWM is one kind of method to digitally encode the analog signal level. The computer cannot output an analog voltage. It can only output a digital voltage value of 0 or 5 volts. The duty cycle square wave modulation is used to encode a specific level of the analog signal. And this duty cycle refers to the time at which a high level occurs during one cycle of a waveform divided by the pulse period. Look at this picture. The high level occurs for 21.7 milliseconds and the pulse period is 38.73 milliseconds. The duty cycle is calculated as 38.73 divided by 21.7 which is approximately equal to 56%. Besides, in this picture, the cycle of these three waveforms is the same, but the duty cycles are respectively 20%, 30%, and 70%. The larger the percentage is, the larger the analog voltage value corresponding to the waveform will be. In this way, different waveforms can control the times of the on and off of the LED, thus controlling the LED to emit different light. Pay attention to that, the duty cycle value of the PWM waveform set by Arduino ranges from 0 to 255 and the duty ratio corresponds to 0 to 100%. The implementation function is analog write. This is three control pins of RGB LED. Now 
one set the color to red and the three pins to their output this is to output the PWM waveform select the Arduino board the port and click upload Upload successfully and we can use the logic analyzer to capture the PWM waveform on the control pin. It can be seen that the corresponding PWM duty cycle is zero and the following is 100%. Now connect the DuPont wires to the corresponding pins wire which controls the blue light to pin 9 green light to pin 10 and red light to pin 11 now we can see the LED turns red let's modify the value and then capture the waveform We can see that the duty cycle has been changed. Now connect the DuPont wires. The color of the LED has been changed. Okay, in this tutorial, we know about PWM control technology and learn how to use PWM to control RGB LED to emit different lights. However, this is only a trivial application of PWM. In the field of electronic control, PWM control technology is applied in many aspects, such as motor speed regulation and temperature control. Lastly, if you still have any questions, please post to our forum. We will reply to you as soon as possible. See you next time.